Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation playing as Krokgar and Mortal Empires of Warhammer 2. Hopefully what we'll be doing from now on is mixing it half and half with Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3, at least until Mortal Empires of Warhammer 3 comes out. But it largely just depends on what, what is sent in. So, we've got the player having landed at Sartosa, trying to attack the settlement, ran out of movement, obviously can't get back out to sea, he's stuck within enemy zones of control. And uh, Aranessa is going to attack him over the end turn. Now, if he had launched the attack on Sartosa, he's got Lightning Strike. But when defending, you can't defend Lightning Strike, you know? So that's going to be a problem. Um, we can't go into Ambush Stance because we're within line of sight of people. But we can switch it over to Encamp Stance. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but he's got access to all of his stances. Uh, that'll give us a bit of extra melee defense and leadership. I guess that'll help a little bit. And uh, no, we can't this. really do anything else to prepare. Except... We can do the Rite of Primeval Glory, just for the army summons. Because you can just disband the army right away. He's got a lot of money in the bank. It's like a very expensive thing to do, just to get a tiny little bit of an edge. Because with those summons, how many do we get? We get three of them. Um, you can use them as a distraction to try to soak up Necrofex ammo. Or we could use it to hit the mortars at the rear. It definitely wouldn't be worth 12,000, but at the same time, do you know what else isn't worth 12,000? Losing the entire army. So... Nah, I'm gonna do it without it. I think I can manage without it. It's it's tempting, and it would make it just slightly a little bit easier, but nah, I'm gonna do it without it. Nothing else I can do to prepare. Now, the good thing here is that because they're undead, when we win, all of their forces should be wiped out, and you can just walk straight into Sartosa. It shouldn't get its garrison back. Because it's already a tier 5 settlement. They'd only get the settlement back, um, garrison back, if they were upgrading the settlement. Because they get replenishment of their garrisons at a different time to when their armies show up. Alright, here we go. So, Aranessa is not the commanding general here if we could take this guy out early we could drop off some of their leadership penalty um, obviously that's not acceptable let's just jump in here and see what we can go right, that's what we can do now the, the main thing here to keep in mind is that valiant defeats are usually pretty easy to overcome if you've got a good army now the guy doesn't have a good army there's just just by putting lots of strong units in your army doesn't make it a good team. That's what I've always tried to tell people. It's like, it's okay to put variety in your army, but you've got to be thinking about what you're doing. Um, the Blessed Temple Guard, if you're looking at them being like, oh, they're so strong, they're like, got good stats. The problem here is that um, they get shot by all the mortars or the Necrofex Colossus and get absolutely obliterated because they're quite slow. Uh, whereas the Blessed Chameleon Skinks, they're actually really good because they've got um, a lot of missile resistance. They stalk, we can sneak up on them, and we can fire while moving and use poison to to slow them down. Because the the most of the units in their roster are quite slow, we can use that to our advantage. And we can like sneak up on units that otherwise have higher range than us. Okay. Now, first thing I think we should do is try to hide the units that we just don't want to use at the beginning of this. Anything that's slow. Can you hide here? Uh, come on, give me some trees. Hmm. I might be able to hide them in there. Man, there's these small matches. I probably can hide them in there. We'll have to just make a run for it. I tell you what. In this situation here, I really wish we had the uh, the timer for the reinforcements, so we could just like rush in, kill the enemy army within two minutes. That'd be good. That is definitely a good quality of life. Okay, so we got Croak as well. Uh, Croak is really slow, and they're definitely going to target him. So it might be a good idea to send him in here to hide, at least until we get rid of the fast units. And the fast units would be the Death Street Terror guys and the Mongols that they've got. Once we get rid of them, then Croak can come out. Keep these guys out of it until basically all the missile units are gone. Once all the missile units are gone, then we'll send in the Blessed Temple Guard. But we don't want them targeting us because we won't be able to run away. Alright, you two will be control group one. 
You're fast enough to be able to outrun most of them. Why don't you stand there and shoot them as they come in? Same thing with you. Your control group two. Your control group three. Uh, Croxigors are not super fast, but they can not. Oh yeah, they can hide, so I'm going to send them in there as well to hide. And you're slow, but you can't hide. So you're just going to have to run. Uh, you can stay over there and just shoot at whatever for, for the time being. Now, generally speaking, the shots from the Necrofex Colossus are best used against infantry, which is why we want to hide our infantry. Uh, shooting against single entity monsters is not ideal, but they've got enough damage and and uh, ammunition to do a serious amount. But uh, we'll see how we go. If we can dodge them, great. If not, no big deal. You can actually go in control group two, and this will be control group four. What? Using control groups? So basically it comes to the A team, the B team, C team, and the hide your ass team. Get in there, and don't let yourself get seen. So come over here. And yeah, just try to get them to do some damage. Syringe that fireball. Okay, that's fine. Whoops, whoops, get back, get back, get back. Okay, not a great start there. But it's not that much damage. We're, we'll still overcome this, I think. Alright, these two here. Uh, take out the zombie pirate gunnery mob first, and then the general. The general himself is actually not that big of a deal. I want these to be focusing on the depth guard. That's just shoot at whatever, that's fine. No, I told you this one here. Now, we really want to get rid of the Death Streak Terror guys as soon as possible. Because um, they're really fast, and also they're regenerating, they start off damaged here. So, the sooner we kill them, the better. But i got to get their attention. Just keep harassing them. Not really too concerned about how high value the target is. Just, just get them. Okay. All right. Now you guys start moving around over here. Good. They're all hidden. Nice. And it looks like we're gonna kill the enemy lord. Bounce power is not that bad. Okay. Stop. Yeah, for us, you can get shot by that. Okay, can we use that fireball on... Yeah, best not used on single entity monsters. It's just on doing a good job of it. Come on, try to kill the enemy lord. Oh, the terror guys is here. We're anti large, so we should try to kill that. This is very good against them as well, but not at close range. Okay, this is... This is good. Yeah, get over there. If we can take out the uh, Necrofexes... By shooting them, that'd be great. They're not great against loose formation units. Go on, take this one out. We'll get another chance to kill him later. I gotta leave here as soon as possible. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. But it's really good that this one's coming in. I'd love to shoot it with the Shem's Burning Gaze ability. Here we go, here we go. Let's get rid of some Necrofexes. Come on, get out of there. So, I right, don't lure them over this way too much. Yeah, don't shoot the garbage. Go for the... Keep your eye on the prize. Getting shot up a bit, but still, this is very much worth it. Good. Good. Get the test, Death Street ship terror guys out of here. Okay. Get a shot up on that. Alright, the, uh, the Chameleon Skinks are taking a lot of damage, but it's not too many casualties. If we can get rid of this one, that'd be great. Good, that hit. That did a ton of damage. It can't regenerate to full now. 
Need to get its attention. Come over here. Yes, we've almost got rid of, I think, all of their necrofexes. Happy to fight the Dead Streak Terror Guys, but not near its infantry. Don't want to be getting shot while that's going on. Bounce Pale is just still not good. Good. That one's gone, but now we're in a bad formation here. Just keep moving. Let the, the Chameleon Skinks... You go around this way. Chameleon Skinks will sort this out. Alright. I think it's been going pretty well so far because we're taking out a lot of their best units. How about we... Oh yeah, we can direct it as well. Don't want to use Comet of Cassandora. It's just too easy to dodge. Cool. I think that's all of their Necrofexes. Right, when does this come back? 44 seconds. Okay, that's fine. Just let that one decay. Did that do much damage? Eh, it's a bit. Every, every bit counts. So far, so good. Don't want to lure them over here, but I, I've got to try to take this one out. Before it regenerates. So yeah, it's on very hard battle difficulty as well. Just, uh, you know. Alright, targeting. It looks like they're mostly targeting this one here. If we can get these guys over here to attack the mortars, they don't even need to fight that in melee. Here we go. Hopefully it hits. Good, but it's just not dead. I, I just need to fight it a little bit. Come down here and fight me. Oh, there's still another Necrofex. Um, fuck it. Go for the Necrofex. No, it's... It, it, oh. Keep moving. Let them have a bit of a rest. Oh, they're going to bog me down a bit. Uh, the deck gunners is going to be the... Oh, this one here is going to have a hard time keeping up with the rest of them. Oh, actually, you know what? Why don't you just stay there? And this actually is a good opportunity to pop down a common of Cassandora. How about that? There you go. Good job. Alright. That really... The bounce power is even now. Okay. Keep moving over here. Take this out. How are we going here? They're doing alright. Okay, you're done. Get over here. Ah, that's a lot of shit here. I might need to withdraw this guy off the battlefield. He just can't keep up. These, they're faster than him. This is why Stegodons are better than Bastilodons. Because you need that speed. Alright, get these over here. Croak, any chance you can cast from that distance? Fuck it. Move over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to withdraw this one from the battlefield. Otherwise, it's going to get killed. Just leave. Actually, we'll go Deliverance of Bits at 3. Gotta get rid of all the bloody infantry in the way here. Nice. Fucking slow. That's it. Sneak up on the deck gunners. That's good. Fuck, I was actually having a hard time here. Okay, well, just a bit longer. A bit further to go. Okay, we almost got rid of this one. It's crumbling. Yeah, there we go. And we'll be within range to give him some... Extra good. That's all the Necrofexes, I think. 
Alright, and then get out of that. You go back over there. Good, take out those mortals. Bouncer power is looking really good. It looks like we've won. Because we took out all their most dangerous stuff, but... Let's try to get through this without our army getting totally bloody destroyed. These guys here are bogging us down too much. I have to kind of fight my way out a little bit. Uh, I could probably use another deliverance if it's to get rid of the depth guard here. Come on. Okay, stay there just for a few seconds, keep it pinned down. Good, we got rid of the mortars. Good, and then get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, there's Aaron Esso. Come on, go, 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 go. This is the problem with these ones here. They just bog us down. Get out of the way. All right, you get out of there as well. Go back over there. All right, if they chase us over here, they're going to find that there's a big surprise waiting for them in there. Okay, these two here, they've they've done enough. Okay, I'd actually like these to go hidden again. Alright, what do we got here? Depth guard. Okay. They've all gone hidden. Cool. Go for the missile units. If we get rid of all the missile units, the the uh Temple Guard will have no problem. Uh, wait, they can't hide, can they? Then just have them run into the various corners. It, they're just too close to death now. Alright, let's see here. Still another deck gunner over there. Surprised they didn't work. Get back, get back, get back. Try and set a range of those. So, fairly evenly spread out damage there. So it's not too bad. Mongols usually have a bit of missile resistance, but it's still okay to shoot them. Yeah, the deck gunners are giving us a problem. Well, that one can speed up, so that's great. Um, I don't have any spells here that's going to be good at getting them. and I could use Fireball, but I have to turn around and stand still for a couple of seconds. It's not worth it. I just gotta get out of their range. Okay. I think we got rid of all the Mongols. Really want to come over here and get rid of these bloody zombie pirate gunnery mob. I gotta get in close. Okay, what if these two here charge in? They don't have that much anti large in here apart from. No, that's actually not a good idea. Ugh, I need to get rid of this one. They were still crumbling. Uh, I've still got. Oh no, I've used that up. That one's gone. Just wait for this one to go, because that's going to detect us before we get close enough. Right, what about... No, 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 no. I would turn around and shoot, but then they'll shoot me back. 
May have to withdraw this one from the battlefield soon. I don't know why I did that. Just getting caught. If we get rid of all their missile units, the rest of this will be easy. Get in there. Get rid of the bloody bullets. Okay, I, I gotta withdraw this guy from the battlefield before he gets wounded. Okay, good. You got out of that. He's safe. This was a bit of a distraction. Bouncer power dropped down a fair bit because of that, but we just we were just stuck. And now I've lost my spellcaster there. Still got a spellcaster and croak. I'm not done with these ones here yet. Alright, stop firing. I want to go around over here and get rid of the deck gunner because they got really long range. It would be good to take out the depth guard over here. That'd be super easy for them. But we're running pretty low on ammo and I think that the, uh, the deck gunner is actually much more of a threat. Get around over here and kill it as quickly as we can. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I did a fair bit of damage. But it still had heaps of ammo. And we got rid of it. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, God, that was close. Holy crap. <laughs> That's not good. Get out of there. Jeez, that doesn't get much closer than that. Yeah, no more fighting for you. I can't hide them anywhere. I don't want to withdraw them from the battlefield. Alright, starting to run pretty low on ammo here now. But, they don't have any area of effect missiles. They've still got a fair bit of armor piercing. I think it's time to actually bring... The, uh, the D team out to finish the job. Okay, bring this one over here. I'll turn around and shoot just for a bit. Alright, this guy here is done. So what I'm trying to do here is basically get a shot in Run back, hide. It just gives them... Just derps them around a little bit. Or if we can get them to stay shooting... I'll pop this down on them. We'll just delete them. Come on, a little bit closer. Okay, they're not paying attention over here anymore. These ones now go over here and just finish that one off. Uh, you, you're in. You're done there. And charge them in. Oh, they're not doing much damage. Oh, we got the more Mongols over there. I'd prefer not to fight them. And now the the uh, uh, temple guard can actually fight without any serious concern. I got caught over here a little bit. But we had to get rid of all of those other units first. And now they can fight. It's not going to do friendly fire damage.
I'm pretty sure I still have more ghoul chasing after us there. And it looks like, yeah, we've got this. With very close call for croc guard, but no units actually wiped out. Trying to get over here a bit faster so they can help. Doesn't matter, there's the army losses. Just need to now make sure that Aranessa actually dies. Otherwise, she'll jump back into the city. Don't you dare shoot, because <laughs> you could get, end up killing Krokgar. Oh, God. Yeah, she could get back into the city and uh, just raise the dead. This, this is the annoying part, trying to run down single entities on foot. Is an absolute pain. Do not let her get over here. No, crook, 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 just get out of there. Not let her get over here. Good hit. There we go. That direction is where she wants to go. Oh, derpy bastards. Fucking hell, man! That's so irritating. We had her pinned down. Get, get! No, 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 no! That's it. Hurt her away from that. <laughs> Dinosaurs hurting humans. Come on. Keep her running away from here. That's it. <sighs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> it's just so derpy. And that was just a knockdown there. I really wish they had fixed this stuff up for Warhammer 3, but it's just as bad in Warhammer 3, this kind of stuff. I just need like one or two more hits. I think we got it. Good stuff. God damn. Tough fight. But yeah, we really had to make sure that um, we didn't use units that were going to do a bad job in the early stages of the battle. Like the uh, the temple guard, you got to keep them hidden. But every single unit was used in this battle. Just have to wait for the right time to use them. Very close call there with um, Krokgar. Now we wiped out all of their forces, so we could. Oh, yeah, talisman of preservation as well. Um, get the replenishment, I guess. Now we should just be able to walk straight in and capture Sartosa now. Because they couldn't recruit a new lord. Man, that's not my problem. Uh, I'd so... Look, I'll quick save it. Send him this save file so he can fight that man uh, manually. He should have... He just should have assaulted that. Uh, I'm going to assault it, uh, uh, um, auto-resolve it, because I just want to see what's going on 
over in Sartosa and just don't worry about that right now. But when I send the save file back, I'll send it back at that point there for him to find that because that's a waste of time for me. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Just want to make sure everything's going to be okay over there. I'll tell you what, Warhammer 3 does have quicker end turns. Oh! <laughs> They took it. Imagine that. After all of that effort, they come in there and snatch it. How about that? Now, if um, if we had let Aranessa get away, would they have still taken it? They didn't have um, artillery. They wouldn't have been able to do it. Oh, my God. And they knocked it down a level as well. So you'll have to declare war on them and attack that. If you actually want to get the settlement. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.